when it comes to hair, like I've, it took me ages. Like I said before, or you, um, I'm you know, living in Essex. I was going to say, no, but literally for it's a long okay. time, it was you know, wow, it was a real thing. And fortunately, my mum was one of those people who, and my dad, they were like my dad would say, oh, my only one, an African, African daughter, like African twice, because yeah. he wanted to make sure I understood that me and my hair, we had the realness. And um, when I was at school. I would have braids, I'd do, you know, my first weave. My older sister did my first weave for me. I was doing shiong and enjoying myself. But I'd get to school and it would be a thing where it was either, are you allowed to have that many colours in your hair? But most of the time, I've got people who were, like, grown up, people were, uh, uh, what's the word, inquisitive. They were like, ooh, curious. Oh, wow. Can I touch it? Can I, now, I don't mind. You know what? Ask me. Yeah. I would much mind. I would much rather you ask me. Don't put your hair in my bundle. But, no, so but then sorry. ask me. <laughs> if you're, no when your hand now is invading the crown of my temple, then that's when it's now a problem. No, that's a problem. Like that, when you're like asking that. me, I'm not going to lie, it's a, it's a line for one of my parents. I'm not going to lie. So mm. it, it wasn't on this point. I mean, uh, but like, <laughs> but like the other thing was now when um, I began to accept my hair and accept that, do you know what? Do you know how dope black hair is? Yeah. The versatility, yeah. mm. the excitement, the things that we can do with we our hair. like seven different girls on seven different days. Beautiful. Literally. Come and the on. thing is, it took, but it took a long time yeah. for me to see oh. my hair Did you use and see myself. Me yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> who, who here used to perm their hair? Men, if you put your better hair, that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. We used to texturize or perm our hair, yeah, mm-hmm. is because we wanted to get rid of that texture mm-hmm. and make it more like the Caucasian people. Yeah. No, but to be honest, my parents, I love you, mum, but I kind of blame my mum for it because she thought that it was like the way to do. She wanted me to, but because I was young, I didn't really understand it. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I just liked my hair in extensions. I wanted to look like Randy. Like, I used to go, um, I used to beg my mom every because she's a hairdresser, so she know she knew what relaxer was doing to people's hair. Do you get even just was doing it? But they asked for it in it. But she didn't want us to do it. She didn't want us to do it. We begged her, me and my sisters, every day for to relax our hair. And the moment we did it. I've done it and I lied to my mum for two years. Woo! Wow. How did you manage that? Because when I was straight in my hair, it would look the same. Wow. So I just told her it was heat. Versatility. And I lied to her for two years about it. Because, and I, was, I wasn't that young. I was like, I was in college when I done it. Okay. Because um, okay. I, I had... You do yourself. Did you do yourself? Know, you you when you, that's what you had. Like, uh, my mum would yeah. do camera, even when she would do the side party. And I thought I was on fl- side party. And instead of... Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I was <laughs> doing... <laughs> 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 like, yeah, no. And then I'd have the same camera. As, and I remember people used to ask me all the time, I wouldn't wash my hair that often. Like, washing my hair wasn't a thing because I didn't put product in it. Mm. I didn't do anything with it. I didn't mm. need to wash it. And obviously our hair isn't naturally greasy so people yeah, yeah. be like oh I've got to wash my hair and I'm like but you washed it yesterday yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even sometimes yeah. white people sometimes yeah. white people yeah. look at you weird this. when you say I wash, I wash my hair once, once a, once a yeah, month I'll be looking at you as if you're even dead oh my gosh you know what I clocked it's the other day though yeah. I clocked the other day yeah white people actually find it weird when black women do this of course they Listen, and I didn't know I didn't clock I thought everyone knew when I first saw that I was like I was like I was like I was like my boyfriend, let me tell you a romantic story. My boyfriend's Oibo is romantic, is Oibo. So whenever I used to do this, yeah. listen, he Play didn't know what it was. And I said to him, no. I said to him, I was like, do you know what it is? See, because it's weave, there's layers to this thing. There's weave, then there's the netting, then there's the camera, then there's my scalp. So in order for me to reach that itch, I would have to do deep sea diving. I'm not trying to do that. If I pat, the ripples, the vibrations, the vibe, it goes yeah. continue to connect with the scalp. Then the one day I was pan, 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 I laid down. And he patted your head they went, oh, 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 you understand. <laughs> You're learning. And the thing is, education. Mm. If you don't, like as we said before, if they don't know, Marry like ask him. the questions. If you, want to t- if you want to touch oh, my hair, oh. ask me. I will tell you no, mm. but ask me. Don't yeah, invade it's, me. Mm. It's like, the thing of, oh, I, I always think find people for that one. Yeah, yeah, I think it's when people invade me. It really annoys me when they have to hear they go, it's so soft. Can I ask a question to the girls? Do you have a... Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Careful. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. 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 It's a genuine question. Careful. Do, you, do you have any issue with white Annual. girls um, having hairstyles that are 
Like, um, well, lit, cultural appropriation is what you That's what it's okay. Braids, dress, nah. Nah. Do they nah. want to wear a fat? You make it look good, so they want to join in. No, but I disagree. For me, you know that it's everything but the struggle. This is the thing that gets on my nerves. There's some people that, of course, for example, you see, not it's not. We would be naive to say that. In the whole world, there's only black people that have braids. Do you know what I mean? We know yeah. Viking people that have braids, whatever. Have but yeah, when lots. you start yeah. getting, like, the, like mm-hmm. you know, black people get to the geometrical side, the there's algebra and shit involved in our braiding and stuff. But when you I do everything, I don't I don't mind. There's some white people that are, anyhow, they, are, they, lost, they listen to rap, they're all involved in our culture because we're part of a melting pot, especially mm. here in London. Mm. However, when you assume that, but there's no there's no dialogue with the people of that community. You have to be kind of mm-hmm. understanding. You need to ask questions. You need to kind of be basically there. But like, shouldn't you be happy that other people are yeah. looking at our? I'm happy. However, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Wait, let me ask you. Right? I'm happy, but again, I don't like when everyone's. When it, something's happened to black people, to the actual black person, mm-hmm. they have nothing to say. Mm-hmm. They have is, nothing to say. They pick and choose what they want to listen to. I don't mind, a, oh, I don't mind do. a white person having bre- um, dreadlocks, for mm-hmm. example. Mm-hmm. But if I, if if a black brother is walking down the street with dreadlocks, he he he, he looks scary or it's whatever. But when it's on a white person, they don't look that's scary. What, that's, that's the only that's yeah. the only issue. And there's what? Can I give you an example? This really annoyed me. This really annoyed me and. I don't know what I would do in this situation, but when you're told about it, you imagine you'll be like, no, are you dumb? You're not but, telling me that. Mm-hmm. But in mm-hmm. a situation, it's thing. But anyway, my friend, like, and she's like, she's like, she's got, she's half Yemeni, half, um, half um, Kenyan. Mm-hmm. And she's got, you know, the ideal beauty. She's got the fair skin. Blah, blah, blah. She, she's really beautiful. And her hair's curly, but it's not like Afro curly. It's that, it's you know, the loose, the yeah, loose yeah. curly. She worked in Burberry and he mm. said, and they want to her wear her hair natural. Really? They would not let her wear out. They wouldn't let her wear out natural. And her her manager said to her, "Was like, yeah, when I worked with them in Dior, I would pay them money. I would give them. I would pay for them to go and relax their hair." What? So, yeah, and that's that's schools. No, see, schools that's an issue as well. A lot of a lot of young black boys. Yeah, in especially even you recently. You even, even like um, yeah. I, remember, I was in I was in secondary school. I was banned from we had like this every summer. We had that yeah activities we could. There's not real schools that you're you're going up to trips and stuff. To go. I was banned because I had I put um, borders in my hair. Are you being Simple serious? borders. Yeah, that's true. Like, 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 how, like, how, 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 this like, is gang. That, this that, is, that, that was, yeah, that, this that, was, this 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 was, I always like to put lines in my head because I like like Bobby Brown and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And Nas, I always Let copy what they do. So um, one time I put a line in my head, came into school, all my kids are like, yeah, yeah, sir, you look sick, you look sick. Then the assistant head teacher comes up to me. Yeah. Oh, sir. You're looking very um, Jamaican and exotic. Wow. Yeah. No, 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 he gave no, you a destination. He told you where you were from. And the thing is, as, as Asraya said, yeah, when you always think when someone says that wow. to you, you're going to be like, what? Like, are you but, mad? Are you mad? Yeah. 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 Was, I was just so. You're like, you're like, what? You're in the, in like, the middle of it. You're like, I just started laughing with her. I was like, I was like that SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, yeah. I, I said that. No, it's not a top of it. It was loud when you said it. It was loud when you said it. No, but yeah, I was, I was so rattled when she said it. All I could do was laugh. But then I was thinking, like, I see all the all yeah. my colleagues, the mm-hmm. white ones. They all have parts but in their hair. Like yeah, they use, yeah, and they that they've used gel to put the same line that I have, but mine it's makes me oh, no, Jamaican. Understanding. Understand that's that's it. That's it's mad here because I was deep in stuff with it. I remember I was looking at like hair tutorials on YouTube. Like, I was just looking at the mark. No, wait, wait. For waves. To be honest, yeah, I was doing some YouTube, I was doing YouTube research into the black community in terms of where is you know what I mean? I realise every hairstyle that you see here on white men has actually originated from black men. Like the the whole comb over and the slit here, that's just when they used to do like the high top and then you have like a little yeah. slit there mm-hmm. or the little thing. Mm-hmm. Everything has just been transitioned. Even to David Beckham, all the hairstyles, he'll go to different countries, pick up a hairstyle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now he's the highest style pioneer. Yeah. Whatever he gets, boom, that's, that's what That's how it's always been because even if you look now, so we're saying, um, I was saying, oh, how do we feel about, how specific, how do we feel about, um, you know, white women or white men, um, um, well, white women specifically, take on or adopt 
black hairstyles, quote unquote black hairstyles. I say quote unquote because uh, yeah. in the comments they'll be just doing stuff. My daughter is not black. Yeah. So quote came unquote, from but I know, I know, I know, I know what. The picture, <laughs> <laughs> I know what the pictures say about her. Yeah, okay. And um, like you were saying before, that you know, on our brothers, on our sisters, it's dirty, it's this, it, protect, it, it perpetuates this particular stereotype. However, when Mark J- Jacobs reintroduced Cane Rose, <laughs> and when um, well, when Katy Perry King decided to do patina, 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 patina yeah. with yeah. colour in her hair, mm. it was now, oh my gosh, it's so fashion forward, yeah. they're making mm. such a difference. I think that this particular style really, yeah. really can translate what what styles and lifestyles. Urban it's not even urban Urban yeah. But when the melanin is darker than the brown paper bag, what is it? Oh. Ghetto? Is it not ghetto? Is it not but banger for So I don't have a problem. Just it's, it's just the, it's the case of the connotations that, you, that are placed on me when I have yeah. the hairstyle that I believe and that history has shown me has been generated and formulated from the corners and depths yeah. of Africa and the Caribbean and even certain parts of Eastern Asia that I'll now come here and you'll be telling me actually yeah, You're not allowed to wear that. Like the young boy, you guys know about the young the boy in He's banned from school. The yeah, boy is in primary yeah. school. school to be banned. Honest, in my school, it was like that. I couldn't wear braids. You couldn't wear rusty. But that's not good. So well, I, I know. Why? What did you do? It was Catholic. I was from Harrow. So okay, that's what I'm What's the matter about what you said? And the worst thing is, like, the braids and stuff is a protective hairstyle for our hair to break. In this climate, our hair will break. And I just want to say that? before anyone comments, like, yeah. and they're going to say none of the girls on the panel are wearing their natural hair. hair. I want this is a protective hairstyle. I won't leave out. It's not, um, it doesn't matter. Whether it's out or in, it's in or natural. Matter. Okay, okay. Can you imagine the head teacher yeah, that, that excluded this, this, this young boy? He's, he's now said, Oh, what you should have done is if you came and showed me first before you applied for the school. What? So in a way, it's like you have to come and sit there and show your hair. Validate your, if, st- validate your hairstyle. Yeah. Validate, your, validate your dreadlocks, your camera, validate your curls. Sound. These are the people that are teaching yeah. the common sense. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hear me out, hear me out. Because this is the thing that really, it's it so jars funny. my soul. Is the common sense of these people that will sit down mm-hmm. and say that, oh, because your hair is a certain way, and you're therefore well, you well. cannot concentrate in school. Mm-hmm. Or is the idiocy? It's just it's yeah. it's so annoying because and it sounds funny sometimes and it's like but mm. when you really deep it, it's annoying mm. and it, it's mm-hmm. it's gone too far. That's why That's now I feel it's, ir- it's irritating. It's, you know you get itch and you just exactly. can't. Exactly. Like, so for like what me, I do I can't ignore how irritating this is. Exactly. You know what I mean? So in terms of explaining oh or having to tell you that oh this is my real hair or this is oh, uh, because I bought the hair therefore it's mine etc. Here's what the receipt blah blah. I don't need to explain so, anything yeah. to you. There is Google. Because if you don't like, <laughs> lumpy. Yeah, like, I was going to say, listen, I, 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 I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of this, right? Long time ago when I did but my only problem like, w- with the hair, with women, right? With black women, right? Every time like, you go to a shop what sells it, I never see, like, I've taken, like, my wife's asked me to go and get hair for her before. Mm-hmm. That's love. I've never That's love. been. Real, uh, That's you don't have to dig deep. They just tell you a number or something. Colour B. Colour B. Colour B. What was going to say? That's the bar size. I'm serious. It's such a big industry, yeah? Yeah. We ain't got no part of it, man. I've never been into a shop that sells, like, Black women's hair and stuff like that. Nowadays, I mean, black people. There was one in Lewisham. There was one in Fort and Heath called Newman Jack. There was one in Lewisham and I thought it was great. Great to support it and I thought no. Two. Sorry, two. That's two. I think it got closed. But then you're right. One two. What's going on now is that there's an influx of black men and black women who have decided to who've seen what you said and said, you know what, I'm not going to waste money. By, um, by doing rent and mortgage and all that type yeah. of thing and having a, a, um, a business that's in a particular place, yeah. let me do my online platform. Yeah. No, no, no. Forgetting, forgetting here, not even here, black in products. States, uh, black uh, products for yeah. 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 you. But now, Asians yeah. have realised yeah. that yeah. their hair sells to yeah. our market. No, but yeah. it's, not the, it's not the Indians. No, the no, 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 they, 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 run, the they, they run, they run oh, the industry. We don't we don't seem to, we don't seem to own any of that. I mean, we, we, you know, we, we consume it. But right, we we, we consume it. We we're the ones that use it. It's because we don't but provide f- it. Find me, find me. Yeah. I, I I'd say I don't know. I've Be free. I think I've only been to like one shop that I've ever seen 
And even then, I'm not sure if that was a, a if that was just black people up front in the shop. Yeah, put they there. do that sometimes. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that. Right. Yeah, right. I, I, I just look on it and I say, this is a massive industry because oh, yeah. women love their hair, but we don't own none of it. Yeah, but the but reason why, the reason That's why mad. we don't own none of it, yeah, is because when they first came out with hair extensions and hair weaves, it was not made for us. Yeah. It was not made for us at all. It was made for if you was a white woman and you had shorter hair, yeah. you would add your clippings and you'd make mm-hmm. it longer. We now took the clippings and sewed it into our yeah. hair. Yeah. Now we're the biggest consumers of it. What was it? out there Because we never started it. But then on top of it, but if you look at it, for example, you can even take the same argument and look at, for example, a lot of us were West African, we were Hollandese, we were um, Ankara and stuff like that. All that stuff is made in Holland. It's made at home. Yeah. You don't you think sometimes with us right that as black people mm-hmm. um that again we're good consumers man because for instance like asian people an asian, <laughs> an asian person yeah like yeah. let's say a sari i mean you, you think that right what like us black people we like own 95 percent of the sari business mm-hmm. Well, no, no, yeah, but like you said about the saris, yeah, the saris are made like yeah. by Asians for Asians. You get it? When it comes to the hair, com- like you could be any, you could be from any race and still have some sort of fake hair like inside of mm. your heads. Do you get it? It's because they were made not for us. We just took the market and we yeah. abused it, and now we become the <laughs> face. Like right. one, two, three, we are hair promoters. Yeah. Like we can actually put it in our CV. Like this is what we do. This is what we get paid to do. Pull out there, sitting down there, laughing and saying. <laughs> and the thing is the thing is they don't use they would not use i don't know to me i i, I have a problem with it i'm from harrow and i would have to go all the way to halston which is like oh, to, go to, to go get and the like, like, majority like, of people because yeah. in my area it'll be extortion and the majority of people like, the majority of people who live in halston are what black, black. black right and how many of those shops that you then gonna go into to buy your products when you've come from Arrow. How many of them? How many of those shops are black? Look at the woman in Lewisham. She gave an interview. The fact that she had to put herself on media for people to understand exactly what she's had to experience with regards to owning the business that she owns in Lewisham. She said three key things. One of the things she said was, "Me being here, I've had countless." of my Asian counterparts or businessmen that were stores around me come and offer me bigger money to buy up my store because they do not want to see me in this space. They do not want to see Mm. someone who look to be thriving. Not many people can say this. (laughs) So what you're saying is very true. But the difficulty they approve. Do you know what I mean? No, I agree. You know, it's not not just here, it's it's food, it's it's, it's a lot of things. I was going to say, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? A lot of these these spaces and these businesses that these other ethnic Mm -hmm. minorities do, Mm -hmm. A lot of us sometimes we don't want to do. It's not cool. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah be true. It's not cool to have your little corner shop. Yeah. You no know, one's trying to be like, yeah, I own my own corner shop, brother. What are you telling me? Yeah. Man from the corner shop driving a Lambo. The man from the corner shop driving a Lambo. Look at Bill Gates. He can sit down in his mashup sketches, whatever. Sit down. He is one of the richest people in this world. Mm-hmm. A black guy that's an average even hundred thousand pound. You will smell him before you. If you remember, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but- <laughs>